Welcome. Welcome back. To Fear and. Welcome back to the, the Fear and podcast. podcast. That's right. That's right. That's the name of our podcast. Don't wear it out. Hello. Hello, hello. Today, after last week's insane episode where we had girls and gays and also Tana, which is like somewhere in between mm. the two. Um, why not both? Uh, I decided we're going to have a only male podcast. and. Yeah. Dick, and dick, yeah, dicks, dick, pussies, dick. titties. Am I right, fellas? Right, Let's right. go. I feel like this is a revenge episode from last week. That yes, is. it is. Where it was the gays and the girls, and now you guys are just gonna. We beat are the going. Shit out of me. Yeah, I was. Yeah. We're gonna hate crime. There's no man says raw, hot, <laughs> wet testosterone like Eddie motherfucking Bird. That's right, dude. I wanted to bring the guy <laughs> who's just fucking <laughs> oozing with it, brother. Look at that mustache. Don't Ginger's even. the hairiest guy you could think. Yeah. Of. That's right. <laughs> let your nuts hang, dude. Let's let let your nuts hang behind oh. the paywall. Oh, they're later. hanging down here. They're right under the. Is, Hell, there, a paywall? is there a paywall camera? I can feel the them. Table? They're on my yeah. leg. <laughs> That'd be great. The paywall camera just weighs down. Yeah, just fucking you know Japanese subway creep shot style. Yeah. That's what we do. That's that's how we that's how we do it. Hey, fear and new episode. We're doing the damn thing. I just want to start off with one very important piece of information. March, can you please pull up our YouTube page really quickly? I yeah. just want to just want to do a quick test. Sure. This is not for you, Eddie. Eddie, for the record, we just kind of talk amongst ourselves, and you're like, uh, you know, you're someone that we life. brought okay, along. So yeah, like right, exactly. Viewer, just yes. To hang yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, that's literally what our what our podcast <laughs> okay. normally <Yeah>. works. <laughs> okay. So so you look at that. What what is that average? We're like two hundred sixty seven thousand, three hundred thousand. Pretty oh. good numbers. Oh, oh, oh look Last at that. episode had. 322,000. Oh, I think I know where can you're going you, with this. Can you look up, um, what's the name of this other Don't, podcast? I can't believe you're doing this. What's the name of this other podcast? It's I called, can't. wait, you're, you're, oh yeah, The Yard. Yeah. I can't can you believe look up, you're doing Can this. you click on their profile? Am, we are opening up a can of worms. Let me, let me, wait, what does that say? 207,000, 282,000, 262. Oh, wow. Oh, this wow. is so petty. Well, it seems like <laughs> our podcast, which <laughs> you know many people have said has a bad name, which I don't think it has a bad name, is is crushing another podcast. I, sound, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> no, you want to know? You want to know what's fucked up about it? I did this to his face on the phone <laughs> <laughs> after talking to Lud yesterday for like thirty-five to forty-five minutes about like. All of my woes. Yeah. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, by the way, I just looked up the yard's numbers and we're fucking crushing Bro, you. we might have kicked a giant. We might have had the yard next episode. A little like, bit of Live ass nair episode, <laughs> six million views. Yeah, a little, little competition ain't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? I think, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think we're whooping that ass. Well, in yeah. celebration of that. Ooh, we that's a great segue. Great oh, segue. Oh, yeah. A little segment for us. Oh, my God. Grab a French fry. Oh and I got God. some nuggies oh, in case. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. In the most shameless plug I've ever done, mm -hmm. I've been working on something Did you for make a these? long time. Yeah, those are also mine. Oh, wow. I've oh. been working on Oh, what are you working on, Will? brand of hot sauce. No. This is Speedy's Will Neff Edition. Marsh, that's your bottle. Wait, no. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, this Marsh, is like, that's not No, that's my bottle. Is this over? This is gonna, gonna be no, it's just weird. I, I, I need two bottles. This is a real hot sauce. The label looked too real. Is this over three ounces? Can I get this in my bag through airport security? I do not this know. This has got to be more than Oh, you can't, so just leave it here. Don't worry about it. I just, I want honest opinions. Mm -hmm. Try the hot sauce. I'm going to check it in my luggage. Because I think pound for pound, dollar for dollar, I have the best hot sauce in the world. Okay. Some ghost pepper shit not, you're dropping. This is no ghost episode. pepper. Hey, hey, someone died this already. Is, this is <laughs> habanero, peach, and garlic. Will, okay. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you if it sucks. Oh, yep, please do. I will tell you. Tell me if it's. I sick. am a hot sauce connoisseur. I it's love not hot the sauce. Hottest. Ooh. It's got some back heat. Ooh, I it's opened it and it went sauce. boom. Well, I'm gonna do this. Oh, that right. smells really so good. You're the, you're the first ones to try this. Okay. Here, just put it, put it right there. Put oh, it's good. It, it smells it's, very good. You can put a lot on because it's not super spicy. Eddie, do you want to you want to take out of this? Yeah, sure. I didn't want to douse I it. I wanted to dip <laughs> it in there. You know what I mean? I want to. I want to. I'm starting to get on the, give it a whirl. On the table here. Let me balance it out. Hassan, do you have any napkins? Because it's gonna spill. There's holes in the top. Yeah, and there's. The, I, I don't know why I did that. There's a little. It's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it with the fry right here. Okay, there we go. I mean, uh, to your credit, you didn't know there was going to be a taste test in the beginning. With didn't I guess, know, wasn't prepared. We didn't have cups. So, oh no, don't worry. Even if he was prepared, he would have. If you want to try to figure out a way to fuck it I'll up. Go nuggy oh, Will, this hot sauce is fire. Will, I told you, I'm not this even is really good. I'm not. Right? I was gonna be nice either way, but this is really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like Will, this is this is fire. It's a bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's oh. it's got like a little kick, oh, like a that. baby kick. 
I'm, it's a good sauce. It's well, very good. A good sauce. This is my baby. This is what very I'm good. working on. Well, this, not, is a, this is a great sauce. Yes! I'm it's, not saying this just to sell hot sauce for you. Can no. I keep this bottle? It's yours. Nice. Well, I actually this, will this may this have later. changed my life. I you are. My, I knew you were going to be my biggest critic because I knew if it was bad, you would have been the, like, well, this is trash. No, <laughs> it was. I pride myself on being an honest guy. You're honest. And I, I swear to God, this this is fire. Okay. I'm, you know what I'm going to do, Will? What are you going to do? Oh, let me tell you something. I don't do this often. Sure. I'm checking this as a bag. Wow. No, no, no. Just leave it here. Don't worry no. about it, motherfucker. I'm no, no, no. Don't worry about it. Just leave it here. They, they, I heard it's illegal. No, I'm I'm checking this as a bag. I oh. heard I heard in the state of Oregon it's illegal. No, no. To, to I don't know if you understood me. I am not just checking it in my bag. I'm checking it as, as a bag. bag. Thank you. I've got a baggage well, allowance of three. I, our meet and greet at TwitchCom. Yes. Our meet and greet. The, the Hassan Will Neff, Hassan Biker, we meet and I'm greet. I'm giving away 200 bottles. Oh, my God. So first 200 people do our Fuck meet yeah. and greet. This is get good. Can you give me a nugget? It's a oh, for sure. I'm, I'm dead serious. This is... Well, all right, you don't have to get gas it up no. anymore. We can move on to... No, it's really good. No, I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm going to... In fact, Hassan, do you have a plate or something that I could use? There's um, just the relief of I'm like, not going to oh, get up to get a plate. Really don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't love, that be a terrible way to start a podcast? You just put something in your mouth. They're like, oh. I will give constructive criticism That's to friends, good. but I there's no more relief in my life when the, a friend shows me like a project or something they've done. I'm like, I mm. really love this, and I can yeah. just kind of be yeah. nice this is about fire. it. So I'm a big hot sauce guy. I don't know if you're no. a big hot sauce guy. Um, mm. I really like hot sauce, but I haven't, like, I haven't gone into the world of hot sauce, yeah. no. Mm. Yeah. Well... well Amazing. Thank can you. I? Can you? Can you uh, here's Eddie, where you I, fucked up. Eddie, you, tell me you, about only got, <laughs> you only got like a little bit of chicken nuggets. I, well, I did get 10 nuggets. I'm dying to know. Mm -hmm. You've got that sexy mustache. You do. Mm -hmm. you With all your hot sauce money, mustache. you could have gotten more. Has know? it been working for you? Is it in, in the sex department? Like uh, the sex department? <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you bringing me in the sex department? I've been There's in a, a committed one. relationship for over three years. I so. knew that. That's what I'm, I'm, but I'm saying, is it working? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. It's, it's, are you well, asking she's him? She's still there. <laughs> she's around. No. Like, what, what's next? You're going to ask him how he fucks his girlfriend? No. <laughs> Look, is the mustache helping, bud? Am I, I, am I crossing the line here, Eddie? No. Okay. I, I also uh, did grow the mustache, or I guess trimmed it correctly, mm -hmm. kind of right before Chrissy and I started dating. Okay. So, uh, there you go. It worked. <laughs> it worked. I, I like... To, I like that you you did that and never like I can't fuck this up <laughs> well, ever again. I will, I'm also <laughs> not gonna get rid of it because like it just I don't know I like it a lot and now I look in the mirror and it's it's part of my face. It's so good. And if I get rid of it, I just feel like I'm. I see old photos you of myself I, and I'm like I'm not him anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what it's I've noticed about you? The shape of your mustache perfectly mimics the shape of your eyes. Yeah. Oh. I never thought you that. have like very you have like very. Almondy, beautiful eyes. Thank you. And you have a very almondy. You're saying mustache. you have the what's that thing that was on TikTok? Symmetry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it you talking about the incel thing? The what incel was, thing. The what was that called? No, was, not the epicanthic fold. That's uh, just Asian people have that. I think, right? Um, I only vaguely saw like one or a little bit of discussion. Yeah, it's when it. you have droopy eyes. Okay. So, and and do I have that correctly? Do I do I pass? The no, you have it, you, you have it like going downwards. Okay. So yeah. they're saying like you're you cooked. have sexy eyes. Okay. You have kind Thank eyes. You. But I think you have kind eyes and sexy eyes as well. Yes, it's well, natural. We mustache. also Thank need you. to talk about the elephant in the room. Mm. Mm -hmm. You how I trim my pubic hair? No, oh. or other no, things. this is much more serious. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, we'll get to that. <laughs> Your video might have killed one of the greatest singer-songwriters in our generation. I doubt he saw it. We didn't kill him. I'm just saying you did a Margaritaville video. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then what happened immediately after? Mm. Not immediately. Not, not immediately. immediately afterwards. Not, about two months later, but one thing I didn't I think didn't help is that it was about to cross two months, but it YouTube still said one month, so sure. people thought it was extra recent. Mm. Um, oh yeah, they do that. Yeah, he was a uh, he was hospitalized once when we were on the trip. Right. And there was this kind of discussion with Ted and I where we're like, yeah, and his life is the most important it? thing, but we're also like <laughs> wasting two months of our lives on this project. Mm. And mm. like, what do we do? Because we don't want to be disrespectful. Um, but Jimmy held out and it ended up, I don't know. He, he died around friends and family and his dogs. So that's, I have, I have an alternative. Okay. You so have theory about it? Well, I have an alternative can, can we provide about some yeah. context here. Yes. I, yeah. I think, I think Jimmy wait, has lived a very, what? Wait, let me give some context because mm. Austin's kind of swimming in the abstract. Yeah. Eddie recently did an amazing video. Mm-hmm. With Ted, mm -hmm. where they went and visited every Margaritaville yes. restaurant in the country heard about and it. Canada. Yep. Okay. Soon after, mm. two months later, very soon, almost immediately after, yep. two months video later. drops. <laughs> Three weeks later, Jimmy Buffett kicks the bucket. Mm. He was there are some before. that are connecting the dots. Mm. 
What could that the video <laughs> have done? <laughs> what? I, I'm, I'm a you want me to know? Oh, I, yeah. I told Ted this already, but in private, and I think this is what happened. Genuinely, in my head canon, but also I think this is real. Number one, Jimmy Buffett lived a very long and beautiful life, and <clears throat> Margaritaville was his baby. He made him billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And, you know... He always wanted to live moss, right? But he wanted to also carry the this torch. Taco of, Bell. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> is, is it, I'm, I'm mixing up the brand. Yeah, here. <laughs> but it's like pretty much the same thing. Like he's, he's just, you know, he, cheeseburgers right. in paradise. He wanted, he wanted a life where, uh, you know, after a long day of work, you could just slam back some margaritas mm -hmm. and it's five o'clock somewhere. Maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're drinking at 12, mm -hmm. but it's five o'clock somewhere, right? But he was very worried that, in spite of the billions of dollars in franchising and the plane that he definitely shipped a metric tons of cocaine in because no one has a seaplane and doesn't ship cocaine in the fucking 80s, 90s, 60s, 70s. Okay, um, he was literally shot by the Jamaican police. Just look it up if you don't believe me. Wasn't that, Bono on the plane when that happened? I don't know. Well, more, more. <laughs> yep, I know there less you go. than you did research when you watched it on stream. Yeah. I saw you doing research and I was like, this is more than I did for yeah. the video. It, more evidence that he definitely was trafficking cocaine. But there's nothing oh, wrong with that. No. We love cocaine. That's great. Um, anyway, and in his final days when he was very sick, I think he was like a little bit worried about how will I ensure that the legacy continues? And then he saw... The double feature. Magnificent, Eddie Bearback, Barebacking, Cheeseburgers in Paradise, going to every Margaritaville, and he said, This is it. This is living La Vida Loca. This okay, is, now, they did now it. Now you're just every. So I, gave, I gave him a peaceful death then, you're yes, saying? Yes, you did. Okay. He said, I can finally rest easy oh. knowing full well. That people will continue living Moss, living La Vida Loca. Both are both are Jimmy none Buffett's. Of, none of these are Buffettisms. Both are Buffettisms. There are so many Buffettisms, and you're just throwing anything Spanish at parrot, them. Real parrot, <laughs> real parrot heads know. For no. some reason. Also, he doesn't even speak Spanish. The arc of my video is that I don't. So Ted does, but I fall out of it. So like, but I guess the energy is there. That he, both clearly. both sides. He, he's a big both sides guy. Both sides of trafficking cocaine and also both sides of living La Vida Loca, which is a Jimmy Buffett trope. Yeah. Not just in honor of him, but I do have a photo from the floor to the keys of the video for my wallpaper of yeah. uh, my Apple Watch that I got. Hell yeah. So I, I now I can look always and remember uh, what he's gifted me. Um, and also uh, money from the video. That's yeah. also been great. That's, that's, that's always good. That's way better than the wallpaper for sure. Yeah. So how did you get your name, Eddie Bearback? Oh, my parents gave it to me. Oh. Well, not the last name. No, no, that's no, no, no. <laughs> that's a, his name's Bur Bur oh, Burback. I just say Bearback. Oh, that's your yeah. name. Burback is Got my it. last name. Makes yeah. sense. Eddie, what are you doing? <laughs> been, you were <laughs> way more there. involved in the Tana conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I was just cutting you... cutting edge journalism <laughs> from Austin Show. <laughs> what have you been into recently? Mm. Into? Yeah. What have you been doing? Um. <laughs> Mainly, uh, not, not exciting stuff. I'm trying to figure out what the next thing I really want to like dive into for like a work project is. Mom. I also have a channel with my brother that we, uh, that I've just been working on. Um, other than that, just like playing tears of the kingdom, just wow. hanging out. Calm. I'm not a very busy person uh, unless I'm throwing <laughs> myself into a video. That's about it. What, well, what do you do for fun? Um, tears I, of the kingdom. I play games. Okay. I, uh, I walk a lot. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, I like walking around. Okay. I'm like an old man already. Sometimes I catch myself with my arms behind my back, like that kind of, you know, mm -hmm. pose. You know, the inspecting kind of yes. you know, old man walking around. Uh, so I stop myself and I'm like, I'm not old enough yet for this. But uh, I also run. I'm doing... Uh, Put your hand up like this and go, oh, teenagers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sort of thing. I'll yell at any any teen on Melrose that makes me feel like times are changing. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. But nowadays it's valid, uh -huh. which I think is a really good segue into what I want to talk about. Hell yeah. First, uh, first topic, first point of contention here. Teenagers have always been kind of lame. We were teenagers. We were shitty mm -hmm. when we were oh, teenagers. Um, nowadays they're like more toxic, I think, partially because we're old, mm. but also partially because of what they're watching. 
Oh yeah. And the contents the, the content they're consuming is predominantly like Aiden Ross streams, Sneeko and the like. And uh we were kind of riffing on that before we started on the stream, but I wanted to I wanted to point to something here and and get your guys' take on it. Um Kick is a toxic shithole. Sure. It's okay. it's out of control. The latest thing is that they had uh the, like Sam Pepper is back. Yeah. For those of you who don't I saw know, that, that, uh, uh, Sam Pepper's British. Stream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're calling it. That's what I mean. There, that stream was very much. If, yeah. If you're thinking bad for a, a camera shot on a couch or traded a couch, it's what you're thinking. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's it's a perfect way to describe it. They're on. Uh, they they find a fan on the ground, which they are uh, calling Robot Andy, um, because you know very clever, and they hire an escort for said fan. And they're filming, and then uh, the the sex worker's phone number obviously is immediately found. It leaks, and then they start texting her and, like, creeping her out, like the fans that are watching. And then one of them actually reveals to the sex worker that, like, there's two other people that she wasn't aware of in a separate room, and that, like, it's being live-streamed. Like, everything that she's doing is being live-streamed, because they told her, like, she was being recorded, but not live-streamed. She freaks out. She wants to leave. She gets, like, very scared, wants to leave. And then there's a brief moment where, like, the fan is literally trying, like, the bald guy is trying to not let her leave, and it's, like, very tense. And then they get arrested because it was, like, a swatting, I guess. They did a swatting. You know, the usual. Just normal, really cool stuff. Just every fucking terrible. Yeah. So that's that's where we're at. And the throughout this entire process, the fucking dude who was the co-founder of the live streaming service slash the online crypto gambling casino that is basically the engine that fuels it with revenue, is in the chat throwing up Keck W's laughing for those of you who are uninitiated. During that stream. He was in the chat during the fucking bald guy. Like there's it's like him spamming like laughing emojis. What the fuck? Yeah, he had also hung out with Ice Poseidon the day before I saw because uh, they're in Australia and he's Australian. So you know, really cool stuff. Uh, I think some serious moderation is a necessity. Wanted to, you know, open up the conversation for you guys. Hear what you have to say while I eat the rest of these fucking fries before Will tanks them. I, I, bitch. Yeah, that's good sauce. Well, you were talking about the teens for it. I don't think the... I was trying to think about this actually earlier today. Did we... I mean, we know the business was never that good for, for being like the, the kind of uh, uh, sexist grifter type thing. We didn't have an internet version of somebody like like Tate, even though he's like pretty relevant now. Those types, like there wasn't like a group of those guys so overt when we were younger on the internet, right? No, there were, but they were like, like they not were there. They were not as mainstream. Yeah, that's what I mean is like there wasn't a figure that everybody had to talk about because they were so in everybody's face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, the, the, you at least made a cursory effort to hide things, right? Mm. Like, I, I think for us to go and look at smut or extreme violence or kind of degeneracy like that, you had to make an effort to go on, like, the very fringes of the internet, uh, eat fucked and... and uh, oh, um, oh, yeah. Sites that had, like, really heinous, awful, scarring I never, I never went to the really upsetting websites. I was always just like, oh, I've, I don't, I've don't want to feel bad, so I wouldn't seek it out. <laughs> uh, I, I do think that there is kind of, like, in the same way that you get the stomach rush when you stand on the edge of a skyscraper and there's, like, that voice that calls to you, uh, the French have a word for it. It's like the call of the void or something like that. Yes. I think there is kind of a quality, um, especially for young people on the internet, where like they want to see the train wreck. Mm. And I think... Ulti- Live leak. Yeah. Ultimately, I think Kick is now providing a lot of those like I- I- impulses where it's like, oh my God, th- how th- I can't believe this is happening. I have to watch. And I, I think there's a very real appeal to that kind of stuff. Um whether or not, you know, you should be broadcasting at all, I think that's where the real question is. Yeah, no, I, I am a firm believer that, like, uh, obviously, pranksters and things of that nature are always going to exist. But, like, pushing boundaries is one thing. But pushing boundaries with, like, pushing boundaries in this direction always feels, like, so gross and exploitative for the average person who you know, doesn't need to be a part of your scheme. You know what I mean? You're like running around putting a camera in people's faces and you're making a mockery of them uh, for an audience that is also utilizing you like a robot in the real world. 
like uh, one of the other versions of this is Johnny Somali, the guy uh, who recently got that arrested dude in got Japan. Knocked the fuck he got knocked out. the fuck Actually, out. He got really choked out. Oh, he's the worst. He's this wanna, racist piece of shit this up? who runs around Japan saying racist shit. Yeah, he just like keeps screaming Hiroshima Nagasaki. Does he live there? And that's his like kind of whole thing. Is I think he just traveled there. Okay, but some dude knocked the fuck out of he and his friend. Yeah. And and then now he is actually arrested in voluntary hold for uh, uh, 20 to 30 days in Japan. Is is, is is the rule of law in Japan. But yeah, he got arrested because he broke into a construction uh, uh, site and was like doing the Hiroshima Nagasaki shit again. Uh, that's when he got knocked Ooh, the fuck out. Fuck. Yeah, It was oh, really cool. Oh, Wait, show oh, was sound. The oh. sound. Show was sound. That it's shit is clean pretty fire. No, no, no. Listen to the grunt. Look. Just, Just don't, don't grab my camera. camera. All you have to say don't is don't grab nothing. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh. Do you hear it? Wait, pause it. God. Do you hear him go? Damn. Yeah, yeah. He it's one of the Falcon sickest sounds him. I've ever heard. Yeah, play that again. Get, let us get that Falcon Punch. Oh. With a cigarette in his mouth, too. That reminds me of that old uh, camera kick video. You know what I'm talking about? The one it was like during a protest. I forgot it was the person like stanced up and then oh. did a full like sweeping <laughs> oh, kick of the camera. Oh, 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 it's the fucking uh, the dude at the Planned Parenthood. I think so. Yeah, yeah he's like kind of if he and and, and he you looks, don't expect him, yeah. but then he just fucking whap. <laughs> I fucking it's love it. That's, that's, that's crazy. Have you ever been hit like that? Yeah. Have I been hit like that? Yes. Have you been hit like that? No. I've never been in a Wait, fight. Wait, who's, who's hitting you guys? What's, what, yeah, what, what happened to you? How, so how did you get hit? I got punched a lot. I went to school. Was did you deserve it? I don't know if anybody ever deserves to get the shit kicked out of them, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean? No, I didn't deserve Sometimes it. people deserve it. I didn't the deserve kids. it. No. I got knocked out cold by a kid in uh, high school. One of my roommates, he just, he basically freaked out because I poked him with a stick and this was in boarding school and I like ran away and I think it was, it was like snowing outside. We were having a snowball fight or whatever. And he came with like a hog and I just tapped me on the shoulder and he, what the Hit what, me in the what, face. What kind of childhood was this? School Bro, fights, teenagers school are fights, fucked I understand up. that young. Yeah. Have you guys yeah. been hit like that as adults? I mean, in college. Yeah. Shit, yeah. man. I guess I went to community I college. I never got so in a school only, fight. The only person yeah. that would beat the shit out of me, I guess, is my fraternal twin brother, and we were not fighting in my mom's <laughs> basement at community college. If you and so. your fraternal twin brother death match right now, who, who wins? I don't... I don't... If, like, if we don't... It's like removing... Right, we don't right, know each other. Right now, I'm taking that your brother wins. I am bigger than Tony. Okay. So, but also like, I, I mean, we would (laughs) have to fear podcast. Would you kill your brother (laughs) if it came down to it, dude? We would have to be like reprogrammed to where I wouldn't, I would, I I don't think I could hurt. You are in a pit. I, well, then I'd let him kill me. Wow. I'm not going to kill my brother. That's beautiful. Does your brother have a mustache like that? Do it. No, he has a beard though. Oh, okay. Do it. (laughs) Facial hair runs in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a life or death scenario, you just choose. Life or death, I'm letting Tony kill me, but also I think Tony would let me kill him. So I think we just hang out for a while until we starve to death. Fair. Hassan, could you kill me? Yes. Yeah. Could or would? I I would buy Uh, kill Both. You would, you you, you could could kill me? Yeah. Yes. Well, well, I know you could kill me, but like, could you? That was the question. Could you emotionally kill me? Yeah, yeah. Depends. Yeah. I know physically. Oh, depends. Depen- <laughs> depends on how you've been behaving. What would I? <laughs> what have you done? You what have be, you done you that would I would know? Empathy for killing me. After another Tana podcast, he's all in on killing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He code switches. He was all girly girl. <laughs> He was Dude. all girly. This guy, he's all manly, manly right now. Which is not it like is my there. thing. It's just it's you. visually. Oh, that's wait, my I'm face sorry. Like. Are no, you no. serious? You, are you? You know, all of the stuff that we say and do is recorded on camera. Yeah, I know. I stand by you, what I you said. You think you think he people was, won't be able to notice cool. how different you are right now in comparison to the last episode when you're like, cool, "Hey, girly girl, last week." Oh yeah, he was all Tana's bestie and everything like that. Now he's a manly man. You, I'm not a manly. I just it's the mustache tricks everybody. Yeah. I'm not. I no, Eddie's a manly man. He's lying to you. A manly man. That's What's what manly the men do. Thing you do, not much, man. I don't even. I don't like. Just I, if you had to name something that someone went, damn, that is grizzled. I think visually, that's all I got. I think you, you think the mustache is the grizzliest. Okay, thing. wait, hold on. Okay, let me ask a question then. Mm-hmm. Do you use body wash on your face? No. Oh yeah, you have a girlfriend in three years. Actually, that's I, like before, impossible. Before even I like. Uh, wait, even I, before I don't have a good. I guess the. Not having a solid skincare routine is probably the most grizzled thing that I do. I just mm. kind of do it as is. Okay. But like, I don't. But before Chrissy and I dated, 
No, like, uh, a two-in-one shampoo or anything That's I good. condition. I also have an older sister, so. Do you use awesome. a Awesome, what's the grizzliest thing you do? The grizzliest thing. Grizzliest thing. thing. Defends like, the Vikings. No. The the most, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the grizzliest thing, like, in my routine. No, just, what What can you do that's, like, pretty fucking manly? Pretty fucking manly. God damn, I don't I'm do telling much. you, the way he dressed I watched, before, I the way he dressed the, for years. I watched and, football. Yeah. Yeah. I watched football, and I get really into, so I was at a football game this weekend. Uh, I went to the U of, U of o, the Ducks and Colorado Buffaloes game. Sure. And I'd say the grizzliest thing is when I know, like, for as much as Hassan has taught me about politics and the problems with the military industrial complex, there is something that gets me so rock hard when the fucking national anthem starts playing. That's, that's so that's pretty grizzly. And they, they, that's pretty grizzly. They had paratroopers, Navy paratroopers, yeah. diving into the stadium. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. With America the Beautiful <laughs> playing yeah. on an electric guitar, yeah. I was rock hard with my hand over my chest, and I was <laughs> so proud to be an American. Yeah. That is that is that is the most grisly thing. There is nothing I love more that. powerful to me. Hand over the chest, hat over your erection. Just yes, fly. hat yeah. hanging on the erection. Yes, I love. That's it. That's what you remove the head cover <laughs> for, brother. I started the USA chant in my section. <laughs> Hassan, what's the grizzliest thing you do? You're not really a grizzly. He's guy. all grizzly. Uh, it's because you think it's, so? like look at he doesn't he doesn't wash his face. I wash my face. It's just like I use body wash because why would you need to use something different? Yeah, you fart in your car a lot. I have no. I have no. I hate this lie that you, you fart. In, you he have, farts in his car. No, he. This is a lie that he's perpetrated. <laughs> Uh, if he's perpetuated this lie, because like it's the perfect lie you can tell about someone online, because no one can check you. Yeah, you know what? I actually think that's true. I've driven his car to smell. Like See, fun. there you go. Now he's doing it too. I, okay. There's a couple of those kind of like open secrets around like internet people, and I yeah. hear that about you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is? Uh, what is I hate crazy you guys. You do, though? I mean, you lift a lot. That's I, pretty crazy. Yes, yeah. Do I mean, you grunt? I guess? Do you lift? What? Do you grunt? Ugh. Sometimes. Uh. When I was in high school and community college, I used to, I think, do a lot more, like, performative stuff like that. I also used to lift a lot throughout all of high school and then community college. And then I think having just this look, I'm like, I'm, go I'm good. I don't have to do anything that I don't yeah. want to do now. I don't have to, even though I don't mind. So what just happened? You just drank some <laughs> hot sauce? <laughs> it's on your lip. It's on your lip. What are you doing? It's really good. <laughs> Will Neff's hot sauce. You know what the most grizzled thing I do is? I'll tell you right now. I, I don't get stitches. I super glue my cuts. Oh, my God. And Go I've done to this, the hospital. I've done this many times, and I, I have, like, pretty gnarly scars all over. And the first time I did it around Caroline, she, like, really freaked out. Understandably. I, like, went to open a bag of carrots, and I stabbed my thumb. It is a pretty funny, like, oh. going from grizzly mode to, like, yeah, I was opening a bag of baby carrots. I was opening, <laughs> I was opening up a bag of baby carrots. And, and you cut yourself. I cut and myself, I cut really myself bad. real bad. And guys, and, and why, why do you refuse to go to the hospital? Because you don't need stitches. You just super glue your cuts. Okay, and did it work? Yeah, it worked great. Well, I guess he's I mean, here, like so. That's true, but I'd be really crazy to bleed out. No, but I, just okay, took, I took an Uber to the CVS, grabbed a tube of uh, <laughs> super glue. So you took an Uber somewhere, and it wasn't the hospital. You right. could go to urgent care for and that. And you have health care? Yeah. So, I mean... I understand. I guess it's also the it's same, U.S. It's the same so thing. It's not but then again, I'm not a good person for this because I, I uh, found out throughout... Uh, I mean, a couple of years back, I found out that I had a... I had like a like a broken piece of bone in my kneecap swirling around. Yeah, you super glue that. That was a, like the size of a <laughs> ping pong ball, like a little bit smaller. Did you feel pain from yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All the time. I used to just like squat with it and it would sometimes get stuck in between my knee. So Do you I... Have arthritis? Um, no, I don't think so. But sometimes, I mean, when it's humid, uh, my, my joints hurt a little bit. But anyway, I, I went to the doctor. I didn't have a lot of money. And the doctor was like, yeah, we got to get that shit out. Like a laparoscopic surgery. Like it's, you know, it's an immediate need. So I just, you know, kept lifting with that for like a couple of years because I didn't want to do, uh, the recovery. Yeah. Oh, I work in, out too. That's manish. In junior high, I was doing hurdles cause I was in track for a bit and which also, it sounds like I run a lot. It's very okay. recent of doing distance stuff at all. And, and I was in track and I was, they put me in the like category where all the like slower kids went. It was like running the 800 meter. <laughs> and, <laughs> but, uh, I was trying out the hurdles and I felt something tear in my knee and Oof. then I just didn't go to the doctor until it felt better. But for like, Two years, I if I sat like at the movie theater or like uh, in a car for a long time, it would start to hurt really bad. 
And then it just kind of went away. It's not now. That's not Grizzly. To, that's I guess Grizzly. So. Yeah, that's that's very ignoring grizzly. seventh grade a, 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 a hospital need and just being a yeah. dickhead about it. Uh-huh. That's Grizzly. Cool. Yeah. Not okay. not 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 listening to medical professionals is the manliest grizzly. thing you can do. It's know. also Grizzly to be a medical professional and not listen to women. Yeah. Uh, very well, common practice. I I agree with that. What? Are, it sounds like you guys are on the wrong side of the table. Beautiful yeah. and natural. So. <laughs> I I I am I have a problem. Anytime I feel anything remotely off about my body, yes. I go to urgent care. <laughs> I'm so much so much so that the urgent I have to go to different urgent cares because I'm embarrassed that I've been there so much. That's insane. Yeah, like they I'm a, reg, I'm a regular at the urgent care. The doctors now see me and they say you don't need that. Which they is insane to me. Probably already have you logged as like because it's not just you doing that. Like they probably think you have like a fetish. That go, but but yeah, <laughs> they probably think it's, you're a fetish. It's funny. It's funny because like people, people you think talk, so? Like I really get off. To uh, I'm, I'm gonna need you to. F- <laughs> I'm gonna need you to check my scrotum. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't know. I just go in for blood work. You never know what could change. People. People. Say, <laughs> right. You in, never know. In what time span? Like I've gotten my blood work. I think done. I counted this year. I've gotten it pulled eight times. That's insane, Austin. Well, I could I memorize my CBC. Wait, that's right, all, close to once a month. Yeah, no, I've I've got my blood work done a shit ton, and yeah. plus wait, I got and, and plus wait. I get and plus I get uh you SCD might testing. have a fetish. I don't enjoy getting my you needles like needles. Stuff. No, 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 you no, like no, getting no. needles. I don't. You I might. do not enjoy it. It does hurt. It does hurt, and I don't. But enjoy it hurts the pain. so fucking no. good. <laughs> no, I don't oh. enjoy the pain. But th- see this vein right here? That's the vein they pull from typically. Yeah, you have um, a track mark. No, like wait, a is that a, it does addict. look like is a that, track mark. Is that literally a right track now, mark? Like is, that a, is that what a track mark is? Yes. Yeah. Wait, like, that, but like that's heroin addicts. I just had one done recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like heroin addicts. That, that is what a track mark is. Wait, so we all get track marks when we get our blood taken, right? Heroin addicts get How needled. How often do you think everybody else gets their blood taken? Well, I mean, once, once every blue moon, like once a year at least, minimum. Probably once a year, but I don't know. That also might not be a track mark. That could just be like a. No, I got happened. my blood taken. No, it's permanent. That's the exact spot. I got my blood taken three days ago. Why well, do you have, that could why just do you have two? Over. Why do you have two track marks? I think this is because somebody decided to pull blood over here. Somebody decided. Was it a doctor? It was a doctor, yes. <laughs> it was a doctor. Decided to no, it was <laughs> I'm going to medical professionals to get my blood taken. Okay. okay? I get my blood <laughs> taken. <laughs> when you have to say that, yeah, I might going, have a problem. People people say in America falsely that like we can't get socialized medicine because then people will abuse the system. You literally are the first person I've ever met yeah. that would abuse that system. Well, no, but this is my thing. The the system is so fucked up that I want care and it's difficult sometimes to get them to give it to you. I go in I'm Okay, go in it's so difficult much. for you because like you go too much. I know, but they I have been <laughs> on the notes. I read the notes of my last um doctor that yeah. I saw. They Some allow you to read doctor. the notes? Well, no, like then they give you notes oh. at the end of the appointment. And I read them. <laughs> they and wrote, the do- please and the stop said, coming here. The doctor <laughs> said, seek therapy <laughs> at the bottom of the, on the notes. Seek therapy. And for- did you do it? No. That's the most grisly thing you've done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so do, I you're a hypochondriac. I'm a hypochondriac because I develop these things in my head that I have and then I go get tested. and That's not grisly. That's not good. See, no, my but not going to point, therapy when somebody's urging you to go to therapy is the most manly thing that you can yeah, do. True, I don't need therapy. My uncle is <laughs> there. You go. Is You're so just, grizzled. Yeah, he was chopping wood and he cut part of his pinky off. Oh my god! And he just like <laughs> wrapped it up and got gangrene. Oh, and they had to remove. The whole like, finger? Like this. Oh. That's grizzly. That's grizzly. Getting gangrene? Getting gangrene? Getting gangrene? <laughs> like you're a fucking... Getting gangrene like you're a, a, a 16th century peasant is the grizzliest thing you can do. <laughs> That's okay? grizzly. Like yeah. modern medicine is there specifically for that. It's like the one avenue that we've like yeah. done a good job I in. think there is still a group of women that like grizzly men yes. too. Yeah, everyone's Most got their own flavors. Hockey. Yeah. 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 There's every every hometown has many of those women. They're yeah. still there. The Lana Del Rey is of yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Do That's you a think good that assessment. That population of women is diminishing? Yes. Yes, I think the the needle is moving towards Timothy Charlemagne. Yes. Yeah, well, I hate I that. I think that the needle's always been there just they're being listened to more. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, 70s the the, the Vogue was like Barrel chested furry man, but men. that's also like what was chosen to be put in that. True, you know, like, an advertisement. Okay. Yeah. Right. So but, you but, think but, you think like a feminine man have always been the meta? Well, whatever people's tastes are. So like I like I feel like 
even for me, like I have a sp- very specific look that will work really well for some people and not at all for others. Okay. And I feel like it's always kind of been that. that I feel I that. Think it is. No, pe- there's tons no, of, there's no, tons of people that aren't into hairy guys. That's, it's true. Yeah. We I'm literally not, went to Japan. He knows it. Yeah. We went to Japan. I'm not into hairy guys. There you go. No. We, we went to Japan <laughs> and like, and, I, mean, I, and I, really, I think you're beautiful. They, thank you. I, 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 think I, you're I can still be beautiful and you No, you're gorgeous. Like, I love your mustache. What's going on? Part of me wants to take it for a ride. But, but I don't, but because I've done my thing. This is supposed to be a man episode. Okay. Yeah. And you keep fucking cutting me off Sorry, like I'm Grizzly. cutie Cinderella. Grizzly. Sorry, go God ahead. God damn it. Hassan, Grizzly. Hassan had a point. No, the point was that we went to Japan and, and found out that they do not like hairy guys at all. Um, that, was, that was a wonderful moment for you where, I, where famous I former like, adult star. I like hair on men in specific places. Under the arms, perfectly fine. Love sure. it. In fact, I prefer it. Right? Yeah. You have an armpit fetish. I don't have an armpit fetish. What's up with gay guys and armpit fetishes? I think, I don't know what it is, but like underarms on men is just, it makes me go so feral. I don't know why. That's, I used to, I used to think, I used to think armpits hair was disgusting. I used to be repulsed by it. But for some reason, as I've gotten older, it becomes like a Vaccines? Maybe. Well, also when you were younger, <laughs> it was like an it was like an older dude. But True. now then you're matching ages, and that could you know? <laughs> no, like, but like, yeah. oh no, don't say that. <laughs> how old, how old do you think Austin is, Eddie? Don't you dare! No, Eddie. You know what? Let's skip this part. No, no, no I'm let's okay. Go ahead. No, Eddie. My day's been going really well, <laughs> and I I don't think I need this. Eddie, how old do you think Austin no, is? No, I don't. I just, don't need just. This. No, I don't need it. 19 years old. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you were so close. Yeah. Eddie, I'm 22. So close. Eddie, I'm 22. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very nice of you to say Thank that. Thank you, Eddie. 22 plus 10. No, I'm not 32. He's no. he's 32. I am 32. Yeah. Because you, I'm not embarrassed by my age. Well, look, some of us... <laughs> Like you know some you know people what? are. You know what? You know what? Will is totally correct about this. He told me this. His wisdom. Actually, Hassan and Will both told me this. That like I need to stop giving a shit about that. Yeah. And I, you know, I've stopped giving a shit about it. Yeah. Okay. Tell us your birthday right now. No, I, I don't. I don't advertise my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you said, wait. I don't advertise my birthday. Oh, you, how old are you? Right I'm now? 28 years old. <laughs> <laughs> It's That's true. Not he's true. laughing because he's insecure about his age. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just told you so, how old I am. No, but but what were we talking about b- before age? <laughs> well, yeah, I'll let's move with an age thing. Do you remember? I I remembered like maybe a day and a half later, and I didn't even drink that much at Will's birthday. What I uh, did the age thing to you? I forgot for like a day and a half. You and uh, Connor were having a conversation like off to the left, and I just heard like a little bit him ask you your age and all i did was lean in and go damn after you said and went right back to my conversation That's fucked up, Eddie. Yeah. A, d- a day later i was like oh that was kind of me i hope he knows i was yeah. joking Wait, no i was fucked Eddie, up i'm also 26 and i look like i'm 45 no so. but it's a perception i think as we get it's older yeah, yeah if i shaved i'd look younger but i also look worse so I, i've yes, got a bigger no you don't i've got an age theory we perceive everybody else's age around us based on our own personal perception of ourselves. So you, you guys, if you are, what, you think this is ridiculous? I'm about no. to blow your mind. Okay. What? No, no, no. I'm just mad that like my fucking government sponsored communist California Nest thermostat automatically goes into eco mode, even though I fucking take it off eco mode all the time deliberately because they want us to fucking die in the heat. Okay. Sick and tired of this commie bullshit. Fuck. All right, go ahead. Well, I just anyway, turned on the So AC. if you are if you are of an older age, you will perceive folks your own age probably older because your perception of yourself is that you are younger. We don't we don't perceive ourselves to be as old as we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So typically people in your age range, so you being 26, you will look at another 26-year-old perhaps that looks 26 and think that they're probably 28 because you yourself don't perceive yourself to be 26. That's interesting because I really, I think I perceive the people my age as my age. No, I don't, I, see I don't, them I don't think that that's true. That might, Wait, be a you, that might be a you thing if you're... I disagree <laughs> with... I've your, never met someone that was like my age where I perceive them to be older. I disagree with all your lived experiences. How come? Everybody <laughs> around you that's your age is older than you is what you're saying in your Yes. Head? No. Okay, now this like, is starting to make sense just, to me. It's just how people, how people judge... <laughs> how people judge other, you know what forget I know I actually I <laughs> love when you explain stuff I, I, I get I get what he's saying I get what he's saying because a lot of the guys from my like college class look like dog shit yeah they look like shit 
Oh, what they're... Oh, I don't even... You're. Eh, I guess you're right about that. I wasn't even thinking about that, though. I was thinking no, about people I, I play basketball with that, I, like, somehow, sometimes are my age. When pe- I'm just saying, when people guess my age... Well, if people ask how old I look, maybe they're... When, they're, when they tend to be younger than I am, they drag me closer to their age. And if they're older, I get dragged up, typically. That's just my personal lived experience. But whatever, mm-hmm. maybe. No, that makes well, sense. No. I, just, I thought you meant just all the time you're thinking of people. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, I'll drop it too. Look, I have no problem with my age. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, so yeah. what's your birthday? Uh, November 24th, 1998. That would make you uh, <laughs> two years and four days younger than me. No, no. Sorry, I messed up. 94. <laughs> 94. <laughs> it's it's so funny because like you're still lying about your age no i'm not but i well i know what your birthday is austin <laughs> but it's it's funny because like this is now on the record so like what next year or uh two years down the line you're still gonna be an age that you don't want to be at no i'm fine with my age oh okay I'm fine with it which is 24 no i'm not 24 25. 28 20, I would never want to be. Just I, misspoke. If, when if, you, if I showed you a picture of me at 24, you'd be like, it's better now. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> <laughs> move on to something else. You do have much better style now. Yeah, and much better style, much more muscle. You look good. Everything's better. No, you I'm happy great. with how I look. You, you look great. Me? I'm confident. I, I love that. I post in thirst traps. People, it's sexy. Where did you post that photo from? Uh, on Instagram. How'd you get that photo today? Did you, people just send you shirtless pictures of me? Wait, you weren't talking about the photo that I released today? What are you talking about? Sorry, released. Just released. You, po- you posted on Instagram. Did you post it? <laughs> yeah, I, I I posted a story today with my. my, my it arm was a story, and you said released. Where did you? Where did I get it from? It's like a press briefing. I saw your story, and oh, I said, "Where are you?" You responded to it. Yes. Oh, I couldn't see. I didn't see that message. <laughs> Griefing. Now. You're on another level. Right I, now. I just didn't see you. Just like message. you post, you no, know, because he posts like the shirtless photo and his eyes automatically filter anyone that he's like, <laughs> anyone that's not a fucking twink, like a nubile twink. You know what a twink is? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have you been to gay bars? Uh, I have not, but also I've been meaning to with Chrissy and some friends as well. Uh, you should, you should, you need a field test that mustache. Well, the thing is also, I, so what's what, the reason I've been apprehensive to it is I know my look would do well and oh, i also yeah. don't want to be you don't want to give them hope that's that's the thing yeah they're gonna be like oh my god you're so hot you stud and yeah you're like, like no. I've ha- i wear my ring right here and i've been tapped before <laughs> asking if i was married you know the whole thing mm. and i don't it feels extra straight to be like oh no my girlfriend you know what i mean like you don't need to tell weird. people that just i mean not don't like queer bait but just just live and exist it's okay. yeah, but also she'd be like right it next feels to me, that's so. okay if the first time you go to a gay bar it feels I'll take awesome it. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. I, I, I'll have you know. You go there, you're like, oh my God, I'm the bell of the fucking ball, baby. What <laughs> so the fuck? you're going specifically to... Well, then... That used to be my strap. Yeah, when you... when you, <laughs> I'd hit after crazy wh- gains in West Hollywood. You know what I mean? After a while, though, it just... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you learn to hate gay people. <laughs> also, <laughs> like, no, it gets a little no, harassing. No, yeah. The other and thing you're I like, would say no. is this. You never have to look for a spot in a gay gym, right? And in a straight gym... You ask a guy for a spot, he's like, I'm not going to gym, so this also isn't a problem. That I'm he just doing. walks. I walk, just walk. but in gay bar gyms, what happens? Gay, oh, bar, gym. gay, bar, gym. gay bar gyms. Gay bar gyms. No, gay gyms, they're ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're ready. Gay gyms are way gayer than the bars, to be fair. So, gay gyms. I, they, wait, is there like a dedicated gay gym in West Hollywood? There Equinox was. Equinox West Hollywood. Gone. Really? Well, he, the one he used to go to was the, was the gayest was one. The gay. But Equinox really? West Hollywood is also very it was gay. Very, it, was, it was awesome. They I mean, literally have a sign in the sauna that says, do not fuck in the sauna. Like really? an official placard. Dude. Like, not even like they printed it out. Like an actual metal placard that has rules explicitly stating you can't fuck in the sauna. Go ahead. Just what that are you, you want to do that? Is it- yes. <laughs> I really, I had a dream. You're a- who the sign is yeah. for. I had a dream. I really want to have sex in a sauna, just sweaty, just, but like shower before because it's kind of gross if you're like sweating all throughout the day. But like just exclusively sweating in that moment from yes. shower to sauna. Yes. Have really great sex in a sauna. Is that a gay thing or is that just like a? No, that that's just like a normal. That's just. But also, I, mean, it, I feel it could like be cool. Yeah. Okay. I feel like breathing in that. I just feel like it's, it would be <laughs> cool for like a moment, and then the, like a sauna. I'm not trying to do like activities in. You know, that's You're where I'm like neurotic. laid out. You think? You're a little neurotic, aren't you? I I think normally, I my brain jumps to what I won't enjoy sometimes. That's, that, but also, I think that has helped me make jokes better. So sometimes that okay. helps me. Okay. 
bit of a Larry David brain. Sometimes. I, I, I like that. I like what you said. I, I vibe with that. Uh, overrated having sex in a hot tub or well, a pool. No, I agree with Well, I think having Sucks. sex in a body of water is not great. Yeah, it's not good. I, pool, I disagree with fully. Really? Fully. Tell us why. I fucked in a pool and it was fantastic. But you, but you, you can't feel as much underwater. It's not about the feeling. It's about the event. Like it's we're about fucking the, in the about, pool. Yeah. I've done also it. for people that can't stand at the table, when Austin said can't feel as much, he went like this, where his dick was. Just so <laughs> did, you, I, did I really? <laughs> I just saw you go, you can't feel as much. <laughs> that was involuntary. It was peripheral, but it was, it was so noticeable. It's the boy, boys episode, <laughs> you, you baby. Just, I just don't. You just can't feel I as much. Did boys I episode. I no, sex in the pool is kind of magical. You would know. Not me. Sex in the pool is kind of magical. Yeah, okay. Like, no, late night, only lights of the pool. Yeah. Everything's underlit. Everybody looks great when they're under. How about That's fucking games. on the side of the pool? No. So awful. Done that too. I, I grew up with an above They're ground hard. pool, so that oh. image is not oh a my sexy god. one. The side of an above That's ground pool. That's white trash pool. bingo, right? Oh there, my baby. god, an above ground pool. <laughs> yeah, Wait, man. where did you grow up? Uh, suburbs of Chicago. Okay. You okay. could break an abo- above ground pool if you fucking it right. And That's then true. you just both fall it wasn't, down to the lawn. It wasn't like one of the blow up ones, but it was still, you know, it was. Yeah, no, we that still had a still pool, not so. fancy. Yeah. Actually, the fact that it's not a blow up one makes it less uh, fancy. I think. Also, <laughs> there is no cooler feeling than than aqu- having an above ground pool. Yeah, than than Aquamaning. Okay, eating pussy wait. underwater. Come on, I mean, chlorine. Wait, hold on, <laughs> neurotic. Neurotic. I That's, just, uh, no, I, I'm. I'm a. <laughs> I, I, I have eaten pussy on the side of a pool where I like have picked her up See, and then it. eaten her pussy on the fucking side. Yeah, that's how you do it. I I don't I don't like. Shut up, gay man. I don't like the the in under the water situation. That's the coolest. You because in your mind you're like, oh, dude, I'm gonna show her how long I can hold my breath for. Because that's like primal. That's like that a twelve back. year old boy's exactly. brain. <laughs> that goes way back. And then you're also using like the bubbles to per- percolate and stimulate. God damn, you yeah. really thought through this. Really oh, I've, I've been, eaten a lot of pussy underwater. But I feel like it would feel like I'm being what waterboarded. What fucking situations are you in? Where no, I, pretty I, much any time I'm in water, man. Is there a pool? At, wait, where are these pools? All of, I'm talking about 34 years of life experience. What is it? Oh, like right. you're, you're like Houdini? You have to make her come before you... Yes! Before, before, are these you, in public before Without taking you your breath? Yeah, without taking your breath. That's hype, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. When she's a little alarmed, you might fucking die. Yeah. It's a Red hot, dude. But that could backfire, though. Stress levels, high. I was going to say, that could backfire. Yeah, you could die. <laughs> yeah, you could die. That yeah. could backfire in but the dude, sense that you die. about a hype way to go. Yeah, eating pussy underwater. Eating Michael Douglas. That's underwater. crazy. Come what on, a crazy put that funeral. On my headstone. How are you even sad at that funeral? No, you're not. You're <laughs> high <laughs> Everybody's shoulder is exhausted. Right. Yeah, absolutely. How do Will die? Right dude, how do you think? Fucking. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I, I yeah. did not think that, like, the cutie list boys only episode was going to get there. I'm but surprised that I'm the inspiration. For this. I'll be yeah. honest, gentlemen. After that, I kind of want to eat some pussy. Yeah, come on, things are changing. What's some rowdy ass shit you do? Come on, let's get into it. I'm not a person you ever that would just talk. do cocaine and fight someone. And no, I've never done them? cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You ever just go to a gay beat up club? Yeah, <laughs> a you gay beat, him up. beat up club. That's awesome. That's a real thing. That's He's not real. even joking. Wait, what? Just yeah, gay beat the shit out of each other and they fuck, man. That's awesome. If I was gay, that'd be day one for me. There's it's no just fight club. There's no twinks. Twinks. It's fight club, but the loser is the bottom. There's no twinks Whoa. at that club. Yeah. There's no twinks. No, it's but it's not. Boys. That's I, a what he's club. talking about is not like like upscale <laughs> shit. It's like if no. you're. If you're living in like Duluth, I, I didn't think that was gonna be upscale shit. Yeah, no, it's like, <laughs> like it's like trucker, it's match. like trucker bar style shit. Like you're living in fucking Duluth, yes. and and that's like the only gay bar. So is it like is it known? Like what if you walked in there and you're just trying to get a drink and you just get your ass? Kicked? Well, no, not everyone fights, man. Not everybody <laughs> fights. Well, does everybody fight? It's like an it's, organized it goes event. Back to like a wrestling fantasy of like oh. two men like. We're gonna pit against each other, oh, yeah. and then we're gonna get in each other. Oof. Yes, you know, I didn't yeah. like that. Can we, you boys, are... boys? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to go to a gay fuck fight club? Only if you fight and fuck. I'm gonna fight and fuck. <laughs> I'm a fight. I would be, <laughs> dude. If Austin you go would... to a gay fucking fight club, I'll be there with pom poms. Would you? Would you be okay, rooting me on? You on? Okay, oh, th- to be but fair, you might get made a bottle. To, no, you, the problem is he would want to. He would want to fight like the. The tiniest twink. <laughs> you would kill him. Hundred pound dude. You're like you. Yeah. No, I think I would. <laughs> yeah. He comes out. He's like, oh no, not Martinez. And he's just so fucking good. He Yo, just knows Martin. kung fu. He beats the shit out of Austin. He's like, you're the oh, one bottoming God. now, bitch. Oh the damn cow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh dude, man, I, I, dude, I'm learning so much. This and podcast. that's and yeah, that's yeah, how Austin bottomed bottom for the down. first time. Oh, yeah, I'm not bottoming. <laughs> what's some What's some manly shit you want to do, Eddie? You asked me that, but that I I know you didn't give me an answer. You said you go for walks, motherfucker. Help me. Yeah, yeah I don't man know, man. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> you want to kill something? Yeah, I would like to. Uh, I always w- want a cabin, and I want to be able to chop wood and make a fire. Yeah, yeah. let's do this. Yeah, very manly. Uh, I have I've fake one, unfortunately. Shit! I have, a, Maybe I have like, multiple katanas. It sounds like good exercise, too, like in a fun way. Have it sounds like a nice, peaceful thing. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I've done it when I was younger, when I went camping a lot, but Not never as, easy as a grown man. I'm getting you an axe. That would be great. Do you know I have an axe at my apartment? Uh, no, I didn't know that. Uh, I have an axe in my apartment too, but it's not like a legit item? one. He has, he has multiple. I have so many crazy weird weapons <laughs> at my place. so crazy because I feel like you... Will defend yourself, yeah. but you'll kill them in the most sadistic way possible. Absolutely. Like, you will strip them and skin them alive. Yes. For Christmas, <laughs> uh, like, two years ago, uh, Chrissy got me not, like, a replica God of War axe like that, but one that somebody made on Etsy where it's, like, an, a regular axe that's designed like that. Oh, that's and sick. my thought was, now it's my self-defense thing, because if anybody saw a guy in the dark with an axe, yeah. like... Especially you. You look kind of like... Yeah, you, you look, look like, like you the part. I do something crazy with it, but yeah. it's... I feel like the the thought of somebody wielding an axe against you is way scarier than even a gun. Because yeah. you're like, this is just going to fuck me up in a yeah. really weird way. Yeah. Have you chopped anything with that axe? No, I live in an apartment. Wait, so there's what? Not... So what? You have a... Chop I lived in an apartment? Yeti? When I got a katana, Ooh, first thing yeah. I did was chop, chop a fucking something. banana tree. First thing I did. I can't... Especially like, I don't know, so my sick. area. There's just like not... There's not a spot for me where there's not a bunch of people. Just like throw a fruit and then like try to chop it. <laughs> Impose your Actually, it's very dangerous. You gotta watch your feet. I just start chopping. Something. You know, be a great self defense. <laughs> okay, no. Actually, I feel like that's the quickest way to get arrested. Yeah. There's like there's an axe murder on the loose yeah, at the park. I'd be on the I'd be on one of the like neighborhood apps immediately. If yeah. Man wielding scary axe man with I big have, mustache. I have like a 25 pound mace. Sometimes I walk to the dog park with it. Oh, just well, to just hold dog. it, and nobody gives you a look, or no, because I have a very because this dog, dog is really it, like it, yeah. it it balances it out. Uh, okay, so like, it's like oh, it's it looks like you're trying to protect the dog. The, the mace, the, the mace is the mace. size of the dog. Yeah. at that point, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say self defense uh, weapon would be like a chainsaw. Oh, like could you imagine no, breaking I've somebody's house? Wanted they break. to own, I've always wanted to own a chainsaw. They break too much, and it's hard to like start it. Have you ever used a chainsaw? No, I've never felt so alive. It sounds good. It sounds fun just to like, you know, break shit. But I don't that's see, that's a very manly thing. It's just I love cutting stuff and breaking stuff. Yeah. It's very fun. We're, I feel like we're reclaiming our testosterone right mm. now, boys. This yeah. is this is finally healthy. now that cutie's gone. Jesus yeah. Christ. This is what people mm. are looking It's for. really funny because from the, after the Tana episode, like all of the girlies that are coming back are gonna be like, This is the most disgusting thing. This is like <laughs> we have become the meme that I always make fun of, like the the Straight guys doing a podcast. Is yeah, pussy man, in the sure. pool overrated? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I would you okay? Let's let's balance it out. Would you suck dick in a pool? Would I just like what's the <laughs> I scenario? Mean, it's not my preference. Like, okay, is there maybe, a gun to my head? What's happening? Maybe this wasn't <laughs> my cheating on my girlfriend. Maybe this wasn't the this was the manly podcast, which I thought what's more manly than sucking a dick in a pool? I mean, yeah, if you're gay, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, sorry, gentlemen. I <laughs> no, it works. Like if you if you talked about it too, but you you posed the question to us. I was just trying to balance. You it said out. it like a threat. Yeah. <laughs> it was, but it was like it was unassuming. Okay, fine. Gun to your head. Would you do it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna die if I don't. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna I die. would like to not but die. But there are some. I'd suck the shit out of that. Really? Really? But I wouldn't do a good job. <laughs> okay, but here's gun to my head. I'm doing a bad well, job. You're so upset that there's a gun to your head. I take pride in it. Look, you wouldn't yeah, if you I scared. have to do, do you it. Sloppy toppy. Well, it's quicker. Than this really no, is that no. meme that you're, you're talking just, about. You're I'm sucking dick for an It's hour fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rake it with my teeth. I'm gonna be like, oh, she's, yeah. never, gonna, she's never gonna come. Don't you're matter. Be on that dick for an hour. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna be out in five minutes because I'm just gonna be. No, I think like, you do really good. I, I think I think I'm in the war of attrition. This is situation. the most like just four dudes hanging out. Like, yeah. how, what, what what would force you to suck a dick is like the oldest fucking no. sleepover yeah. conversation. I've well, ever I, I told you, I, I've told this, I've said this before. But a, my first journey, my part of my journey of coming out was I would, you know, everybody be like, well, "Would you suck a dick for X amount of dollars?" My first like testing the waters is I reduce the price at which I would do it. <laughs> reduce the price between somebody asking you or no, while like, you were answering. No, just like slow. No, no, like like over time they would ask me like, oh, 
would you like get me money? And first I'm like, oh yeah, ten thousand dollars, and then it like slowly got down to like a hundred, a buck fifty. <laughs> yeah, like fifty. I was like, and then it got down to like, you know, I'd try it. A please, a please would you, you know what I mean? I, mean, I probably wouldn't enjoy it, but I'd try. I wouldn't charge him. You know what I mean? So slowly but surely, Gift I got certificate down. Certificate to Starbucks, yeah, bro. Yeah. So that was my first like sort of getting my toes in. Now he's trying to bring out. it back up, and it's like not working. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. No, I don't. A couple know. weeks back when we tried to, <laughs> try to I get am to becoming make money. more selfish. A little bit. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, because I've noticed that, like, uh, you know what? I shouldn't say this. Say out. it. All right, fuck it. Um, I, I, I just don't think that, like, look, I will. You're going to say bottoms don't no, want to be. No, this is a paywall thing. This is a paywall. Oh, thing. all yeah. right. Well, 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 well behind, behind the paywall. The paywall yeah. Actually, what a perfect time for you to say that because we oh. are at an hour. Oh, wow. Perfect. Right. right. Great. Everybody, so. our guest has been Eddie Burback. Before we go to the paywall, please check out his content. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, and he makes incredible stuff. Yes. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. That was a really fast hour. I actually didn't. I was surprised when you said that was. Yeah, that's hour. what happens when you talk about manly <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Man, man, man. Man. Eddie's the funniest person to have like the manly episode. <laughs> yeah. Over. We're going to, behind the paywall, we're going to go drink beer and eat pussy. That's right. Yeah. And he's yeah. going to split his first piece of wood. <laughs> yeah. Underwater, baby. Let's go. See That's you there. Right. Patreon.com slash fear and. Fear and, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so Look funny. at his little boots. These fucking idiots. Wait. Okay, the paywall portion is better than the regular oh, portion. So the, fucking idiot, the fucking idiots thought that like, oh, it's it was fine in the Netherlands. It's fine in Canada. Yeah. And then they came to Philadelphia and they beat the fuck out of the quarters. <laughs> they were throwing car batteries at it. Dead fucking, look at that robot's fucking shoes. Dude. That's a queer robot. Beat it to death. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's got little children's boots on. And they beat yeah, it. It's like a child. Wait, I think there's a video of them beating it to death. Oh.